on Wednesday. Muslim groups all over America are calling on the high court to end the ban. The ban. CBS 12's Mike Magnoli is live in Broward County where a report on Muslim hate crimes and bias has just been released. And Mike, is there evidence the travel ban flan, uh, fanned those flames? Have a look at the cover of the report. All right, that's a burned mosque. And inside, there's a map of the United States. CARE says that here in Florida, there were five cases where a mosque was targeted. This is looking at the year 2017. It was in January of that year when the ban was signed. So it's not just about the increase in the number of violent incidents, it's also the seriousness. Uh, we haven't seen mosques being doused in lighter fuel, gas fuel, and torched to the ground, and that's what we're seeing increasingly, especially after um, this presidency. This news conference inside CARE's regional office in Sunrise, one of dozens of similar presentations all over the country today. CARE is the Council on American Islamic Relations. The organization says it has recorded a 17% increase in anti-Muslim bias incidents and a 15% increase in hate crimes in 2017. The reason for the uptick, CARE says, President Trump's rhetoric about radical Islamic terrorism and his ban affecting seven Muslim countries. CARE hopes the Supreme Court, set to hear arguments on the ban this week, will take notice of their findings. And he just thinks that the election period has not ended yet. But to hear from the other side on this topic, we spoke with Boca Raton businesswoman Margie Hellshine. Hellshine is a longtime Trump supporter, and she travels often for business all over the world. Hellshine believes the Trump policy is making America safer. She hopes the Supreme Court will side with President Trump because the ban is about protection, not hate. We welcome everyone. We welcome you into a safe environment and we want you to be from a safe environment. CARE dismisses the notion that the ban is making America safer. They say the biggest concern right now in this country, lone wolf shooters, not Islamic terrorism. They cite the case yesterday with a shooter inside of the Waffle House. Coming to you from Broward County tonight, I'm Mike Magnoli, CBS 12 News. President Don